Hello, hello! Magandang gabi po sa kanilang lahat. Hello, Del. Hello, Ate Ruth. Grabe. Ang mga faithful ones. Thank you for always being here in iHomeschool PH. Thank you so much for always gracing our live shows. Sana po ay madami po kayo natutunan. Thank you for all your support. But anyway, as always, no, I always try my best to be able to tell you our disclaimer every start of our show. So first, I just want to remind each and everyone, gumagawa po kami ng content dito, um, not because na, hey, kailangan yung gawin ang ginagawa namin. We're here because we just want to educate and empower and encourage you moms that hopefully whatever we're producing here, it could be a help and it could be able to make breakthroughs in your homeschooling experience. So at the end of the day, uh, there's no perfect method. Uh, we are just here to be able to guide you. Siguro, makikita nyo lang, I homeschool page, nauna lang sa inyo ng mga couple of years on that end. But that's why I invited a lot of guests here because I believe hindi lang po akong may alam. Madami pong magagandang experience na hindi ko nagawa na pwede pong i-share ng mga guests natin. And one of this is my good friend, Patty Mulak. Patty Mulak? is the wife of Luigi Mulak. She's a homeschool mom of four. Grabe, apat na anak. A blogger and also a play advocate. Wow, I love that advocacy. And she will share to us her homeschool homeschooling experience, genuine practices, and dynamics on how they enjoy homeschooling as the Mulak Batch. So without further ado, I would like to introduce to you, Patty Mulak. Hello! Hi, everyone! Hi, Alvin! Yes. Thank Good you for having me! Yeah, thank you so much. I know you're going out of your comfort zone. Yes! And, <laughs> but I'm glad that you're gonna share it to you, to us, uh, all your experience, especially, especially your journey. No? Yes, I will so, try my best. <laughs> Oo, ay, sa lahat nga ng post mo, madami na akong natututunan eh. So, thank you. Year ba? 15 years? Pero madami pa rin akong natututunan. And I love that because it's really, yeah, very refreshing. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. Siguro sobra na silang excited but I just want to say hello to our guests. Sige, hi Litz. Hi Litz. Hi Julie. Hi Aloha. Maganda. Hi Michelle. Magandang gabi sa inyo. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Lian. I know, sober excited kayo sa aming topic today. But please, prepare your question ahead of time. So later, Patty and I, we could be able to answer it. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, my first question. Siyempre, no? So that they can get to know your journey. So how did you discover homeschooling, Patty? Okay, so homeschooling, we started becoming curious about it. Nung na-realize namin na parang, wow, weekends lang kami nakakapag-spend time with the kids. Na parang every day, my kids are always so busy. They have to wake up so early. Tapos, kailangan pagkatapos ng school, nagmamadali na sila umuwi kasi may tutor pa sila. So we were like thinking na if this kind of learning is working for them, how come right after coming from school, kailangan mag-tutor na nila agad? So that's when, kasi sobrang avid follower ako ni Joy Mendoza. So I started, I called up Homeschool Global to ask them kung parang is there a book that I can read ba? about homeschooling and then they recommended the, this book about Deborah Bell the, this book by Deborah Bell so dun sa book na yun madami siyang book recommendations and then in that book what really stuck with me is when she said that you don't have time to, to homeschool if you don't have time to read so talaga yeah. basa ko research and everything Tapos, I attended the very first homeschooling conference of Homeschool Global. That's when I met si Gina Roldan, who had a talk about Charlotte Mason. And then that's when they launched then the book of Joy Mendoza and Edric. So yun yung talagang nagbasa ko ng nagbasa and nagprepare for this. And then when we finally... so. 
So, na-mindset ko na yung mga kids ko that they were gonna homeschool, di ba? So, they just finished their last year sa traditional school. So, from March, in-enroll namin sila September pa. So, we had six months of practice before we officially enrolled. Tapos, when we finally enrolled, Luigi got this job sa Bataan which required our whole family to move there. So, uh, di ba, after packing and setting up my homeschool classroom, biglang I, we had to move to Bataan. So, doon kami nag-start mag-homeschooling, talagang todo worksheets, mga ganon. And then, talagang kami ni Luigi, nag-share kami ng responsibilities. We like exposing our kids kasi sa mga different jobs. Like, even Luigi's mom, sometimes she would take the kids with her sa mga taping niya. Oh. So, ipag nag-work si Luigi, sumasama yung mga kids ko. And then there was this time in Bataan na Luigi had work, so he brought Lu- uh, Alejandro with him. So Luigi was shooting a documentary this time. And then biglang Luigi got fired in front of his whole production team and in front of Alejandro. So parang, di ba, yung reaction ni Luigi, hindi niya alam ko anong gagawin niya. So he immediately called me up. And then when we got to talk, you know what Luigi told me na parang, you know what, I'm so glad I experienced this with Alejandro. Na parang nakita niya na when you go through something like that, you run to your wife, you run to your family, you don't go out drinking with your friends. So parang, dun ko na ano, wow homeschooling is really changing us as a family and grabe talaga yung growth namin more than academically kasi yun yung focus ko as a homeschooler eh. yung character and yung habits good habits of my kids so homeschooling is really homeschooling uh, is really schooling us and sobrang gandang experience wow ang ganda ang ganda na sinabi na homeschooling is schooling us i like that i like that quote Pero natutuwa rin ako, di ba, na grabe, wala ka pa nga limang taon, ito na yung mga natututunan mo. Grabe, sobrang passionate ko talaga about homeschooling. Oo so, nga. Kaya happened, nga. Hindi ako yeah. ganito talaga dati. It's all that's God. Why, yeah, that's why when I saw your post nako, I have to invite this woman. <laughs> that passion, it's so contagious and people need to hear that. And especially... The journey. Can you tell us that journey, di ba? Nung bago ka pumunta ng Bataan ba, buntis ka na nun or after, I'm sorry, before um, ka na buntis, nag-ho- but, nag-decide na kayo mag-homeschool nun? Nag-decide. Ah, nanganak na ako nito. First of all, we left for, but we we enrolled sa Homeschool Global September. Sa September din kami nagpunta ng Bataan. Pero we had kasi, di ba, parang six months of practice. Dun sa uh, six months na yun, mostly parang, we were unlearning yung mga bad habits that we have developed. Even kami ni Luigi, parang ina-acknowledge namin sa kids na, you know, we're not perfect parents, but we're here. That's why we're homeschooling. Let's fix this. Let's make us a great team. Oh, ang galing, ang galing. Kasi you intentionally give yourself the space no, to make mistakes and to be open yes. with that mistakes. And in the long run, maybe you can be able to embrace that and the reality of those mistakes. And I like yes. it. Because you're always willing to learn. That's really good. You naman talaga yung homeschooling eh, di ba? It's not... I expect ko na na may mistakes ako kaya. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Akala kasi nila yung, ang focus lang yung bata to learn. But tayo mga parents, ang unang-unang natatransform sa journey yes. nito, di ba? And I'm so glad that Luigi is so involved with this as well. I know. But, oh, oh, before siya na-involved, grabe yung prayers ko, ha, Novia. <laughs> nung nag-decide ka ba, gusto niya mag-homeschool? Nung nag-decide, nung nag-decide ako, nag, nag-agree siya. Kasi si Luigi, he's really super supportive sa lahat ng ginagawa ko. So I know na kung may doubts siya, hindi niya ipapakita sa akin. So uh. nga, nakikita ko how it's changing him. Alam mo yung, siya na yung sobrang demanding sa time with the kids. Yeah. Iba na siya. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. So, moving on, I just want to ask, no, siguro, people are curious, ito nga yung topic natin, di ba? How 
to do homeschooling with a lot of levels and you know multiple mm. grades so how how does it look like ba do you have plan ba do you have a plan do you have yeah. like a goal how do you do that can you kindly oh. share it to us Okay, eto, natutunan ko to sa'yo, Novi, yung setting goals and yung mission and vision namin for my family. So parang talagang kami ni Luigi clear sa amin na this year, since my kids came from a traditional school, talagang transition stage to. So parang kami is, ang goal namin for this year is to, yun nga, fix and unlearn and learn yung art of slowing down. So talagang yun lang ang expectation namin. Pero I have this schedule. May schedule kami here. Oops, may maraming notes. I have this schedule. Pero yung time dyan, I don't really follow it. Like, we wake up really early. Kasi at 3 a.m. talaga ako gumigising. But the kids wake up mga 7 a.m. Tapos kasi di ba pag traditional school ka, talagang nagmamadali kayong mag-breakfast kasi kailangan matatraffic pa kayo. Kami, we wake up early to spend time with each other. Talagang we exercise together, we eat our breakfast together before we formally start our lesson. Mm-hmm. So, talaga ako nag invest ng time. <laughs> Ang galing. Kasi... I like what you said, that you wake up in the morning to spend time with each other. Yeah. Not because you have to do certain activities that is pl- being planned or structured. The best version of you talaga yung mapunta yeah. sa kids. Kasi diba pag yung sa traditional school, hapon na ulit kayo nagkikita-kita, so leftover na lang ng energy mo yung mabibigay mo sa mga anak mo niyan. Which is hindi yun yung dapat, diba? Hindi leftover. Yeah. Kaya nga, diba pag stress na tayo at the end of the day, diba? Yung, yung, I, I nap, ano ba yun sa Pilipino? Latak, parang latak nung oh, energy yeah. mo. Kesa yung mismong first energy mo, mabigyan mo sa pamilya mo. And okay. our kids don't deserve that. <laughs> yes, totoo yun. And you always have, yung sinasaya mo kanina na you were able to identify your why and you're moving with that why. And that's good. So, do you have a certain curriculum that you follow ba? Okay, with my younger kids, Diba technically naman kasi hindi pa technically homeschooled si Ariella, my youngest, because she's only one year old and five oh, months. But for me, homeschooling kasi is just like parenting. Learning is just like living. So considered ko na rin siyang homeschool. So for Anya, who is three years old, and Ariella, I just make them do a lot of sensory play activities. Tapos si Anya... I just read to her. She loves reading. Tapos alam mo yun, pag na, biglang willing na siyang mag-discuss and mag-retell nung binasa ko. So, di ba, sa so Charlotte Mason, yun yung start. Kasi year zero pa lang siya. So, more reading, reading. And then, Anya is also enrolled sa Little Apprentice. So, they send us videos ng mga parang iba-ibang activities. At para you can play it anytime. So, nanotice ko kasi, nung ginagawa ko yun, sunod-sunod, parang, alam yun, she didn't find learning fun anymore. So, parang ang ginawa ko is, na gusto niya, doon ko lang ipapakita yung video. So, mas nag, kasi parang ayoko, I want Anya to love learning. Kasi ako, I feel like si Alejandro and Adriana, because they were so rushed sa traditional school, parang nag-develop sila ng something negative about learning. So, kaya very careful ako with Anya and Ariella. And then, with Alejandro and Adriana naman, si Alejandro is in grade 4 and Adriana is in grade 3. So, mostly, syempre sa traditional school kasi ako lumaki, diba? So, of course, it's all. it will always be like a part of my teaching style. But because nga of General Dan, I'm her number one fan. So sobrang into Charlotte Mason ako. So into unti-unti, pinapaso ko, nagtitransition kami from traditional school to Charlotte Mason na. And then hopefully, I think when we move to Tagaytay, I feel like I'm gonna go all out with Charlotte Mason already. <laughs> okay. 
I just want them to see siguro literally some of your pictures so, with this question. So how does a daily routine looks like to you? Okay, so for me, weird ako, I wake up 3 a.m. to prepare for my day, for my homeschooling day. Kasi I feel like pag rushed yung umaga ko, sobrang lagi akong stressed, sobrang hindi maganda yung vibe na, na nagbibigay ko sa kids ko. So I really have my alone time. And then in the morning, so since priority nga namin to spend time with normally nung dati, nung wala pang pandemic, lumalabas kami talaga every morning, nagpa-park, tumatapos oh. with the kids, exercise. And then now, nag-adjust kami, nag-yoga na kami. So pati si Luigi nag-yoga with us. It's a fun experience for all of us. And then we also meditate together. And then after that, that's when our formal school schooling starts na. So on pag Tuesdays and Thursday here sa schedule, it says, I do Bible or values. Di ba sa Charlotte Mason kasi parang they encourage you to have short lessons pero madami mm -hmm. topics. Yeah. So parang sa Bible values ko, I allow one hour pero may apat kaming subtopics. Sub so, for example, for Bible, where is that? Hmm. Ayun, here. <laughs> so, for um, Charlotte Mason kasi, they encourage you to parang read Bible verses. So, I downloaded this Bible reading plan from ambleside.online.org. So, may schedule sila. So, for year four, they do Joshua, Judges, and Mark. So, may mga verses. So, normally, I will just read it to them. And then, i-discuss namin. And they would retell and narrate what they understood dun sa binasa ko. That's just, that will just take 15 minutes, ba? And then, I have this book from Homeschool Global, Who is God? Sobrang ganda din to na book. And then, it comes with this notebooking journal. So I read this even with Anya pag nasa mood siyang sumali sa homeschooling namin. So I would read this to them. Tapos ito, iba-ibang activities to. This book is multi-level. So I use it with all my kids for Bible or for, bi for, for values. So minsan si Anya would just color a page from here. Tapos sila Alejandro, syempre mas matanda sila. They would answer a couple of questions make essays, ganun lang. So, it doesn't get boring for my kids. Kahit one hour, 15 minutes lang per topic. So, parang hindi nila namamalayan yung oras. And it makes them enjoy learning. That's good. So, normally, you end like mga three or mga ganun. Yes. Two forty-five. yes. We do two subjects after lunch and two subjects before lunch. Oh, that's nice. So, dahil nga apat yung anak mo, how does it look now? How do you execute, you know, the independent work or what we call individual work? Okay, so the guest na gumising sa amin is si Ariella, the youngest. I always, nakuha ko to kay Joy Mendoza, start with your youngest always. Totoo yun. So, I spent time with Ariella muna, nagbinabasahan ko siya ng books niya, ng nursery rhymes, and then biglang Anya will wake up na, we'd go to the garden, water our plants, tapos sometimes I'd, I'll read to them, sing with them, dance with them. So, kumbaga nakapagpondo na ako ng time with them before sila Alejandro and Adriana would wake up. So, parang pagkailangan ko na ng alone time with my older kids, since napasaya ko na yung younger kids ko, parang it's okay with them na na hindi ko na sila pansinin. <laughs> I have prepared activities for Anya. Kasi si Anya, she likes minsan pag nasa homeschooling classroom kami, bigla na lang yun papasok. Siyempre, di ba, nakikigaya. So I have prepared activities for her also. Tama. Kasi yun nga eh, dito sa mga... Mary, isang question dito na sinend sa akin. Wala, wala dito sa ano, hindi ko na send to sa'yo. Pero, what can I do with a toddler or an infant when I need some time to focus on an, an activity with my homeschooling child? Okay. 
Okay, ang sagot ko dyan is sensory play activities. I just yeah. sa Instagram ko, sensory play activities that you can make for your kids na nandiyan, ev- using everyday ingredients lang. Like, kunyari, meron ako doon Play-Doh recipe. So, alam mo yun, gusto ng kids yung nilalaro-laro lang yung Play-Doh. And then, at the same time, sobrang okay pa niya for their fine motor skills. Ang favorite din ni Ariella ngayon and ni Anya is yung mga colored rice and colored pasta. So basically, you just dye the noodles with food coloring and vinegar. Tapos alam mo yun, ano na nila yun? Scooping activity, yung transferring. So sobrang aliw na aliw na sila because their senses are given a feast of things to experience. So, ang tagal na nilang, alam mo yun, they're gonna be, you're gonna be able to do your own thing and leave them alone for a couple of minutes. So, I love that sensory activities kasi I realized, ang tagal na, ang tagal, 15 years ago. <laughs> Pero it's like, I realized they're ano, stimulated. Yes. When they're stimulated, madali din mapagod. So, bila nakikita mo lang tulog na sa tabi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, ba sila nag na absorb yung activity. So parang well, siguro because they're satisfied with what they're doing, no, at the uh-huh. same time. And Nakaka- you, uh, so ba nakakamiss yun. Learning na, di ba? Cuz they're just technically playing. Oo, di ba? Hindi yeah. naman ano yun, hindi kasi I still remember at that time, you know, I to make sure I have this backup plan. So I have this four activities. Actually, every 20 minutes, I try to change my activity. Meron kasi akong anak na talagang hyper. May ganong anak eh, di ba? At oh, saka maiksi talaga yung attention span oh, nila. So, kahit na nagbigay ka na ng dalawa, so I have to make baon for four. <laughs> Para oh, talaga. Para talaga, yes. Kailangan oh. prepare. That's why here in the house, I have a cabinet with all of my um sensory play materials. Kasi kailangan talaga... Mabilis ka mag-isip ng bagong activity for younger kids. Totoo. Pero like in a weekly basis, nilirepeat-repeat ko rin naman yun. Kaya sometimes, di ba? Yes. Ang hirap din maging creative in terms of madami yung ginagawa. Yeah. Oo, di ba? Kakatuwa. But thank you for sharing that. Okay. So, may nagtatanong, saan ka daw provider? Homeschool Global. I'm under Homeschool Global Alabang. Oh, Alabang. So how yeah. did you choose your provider? Kasi alam mo, Patty, a lot of people are asking about that provider. How do you how do you uh, gauge if that provider is for you or not? Okay, so ako kasi ngayon nga, avid fan talaga ako ni Joy Mendoza. And alam mo, there's something about them when they talk about homeschooling and their family. Sobrang amazed na amazed ako sa kanila, even with Edric. So talagang, even nung, na, nung nasigurado ko na mag-homeschool ako, talagang decided ako na homeschool global ako. But then, because of the conference that I attended, where I met nga si Gina Roldan, so parang nag attend din ako ng training, ng classes ni Gina under Our Living Learning. So parang leaning towards Our Living Learning ako for Anya and Ariella. Okay, moms. Parents, just continue giving us your questions, okay? So you know what? You just do your own research and really Ito. kung ano bang gusto, what's gonna work for you muna before yung for the kids. Kasi talagang nagmamatter yung vibe ng mommy eh. It's all yeah. gonna depend on you, what they're gonna learn. Yeah, I still remember you told us a while ago that you really made space for research and you really made space to learn. Kasi I remember I interviewed 14 homeschoolers. Mm-hmm. Kasi konti lang kami noon, Pat. So, yes. <laughs> mapipili mo lang talaga kung sino yung homeschool sa buong buong Pilipinas. And I interviewed 14 moms and like kids on the pros and cons of how they experience. I still remember at that time what I did. I did shadow play. Pinilit ko talagang ano pumasok dun sa Sabi ko gusto ko matingnan, tingnan ko lang typical day nyo. So, some of the my, my friends allowed that to me to be able to see how it works. So, pwede nyo ring gawin yun. Kaya lang ngayon, dahil pandemic, di kayo pwede mag-shadow day. So, 
Siguro ngayon, siguro yung mga close friends nyo, tanongin nyo, don't afraid to ask and learn and keep on learning. Even though na magpi-15 years na ako, I'm still learning. That's why nga I discovered Patty on that end. Madami pa rin akong pwedeng matutunan. And yun nga, learning is, well, because the learner in me, I love to learn, I love to listen. And that's one of the factor then that I want to impart to my kids. Kasi you never stop learning eh. Alam mo yun, Pat, di ba? Kahit na, I don't know, maybe siguro kung 80 years old na ako, I still want to learn and read books. Oh, oh at saka mm-hmm. na-enjoy ko yung that I'm learning with my kids. Because nga of Charlotte Mason, kasi I'm using living books. Alam mo yun, when I read to them, talagang grabe, na, na-interested din ako. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Yeah. Merong dumaan eh. <laughs> Nadulat ako. May dumaan doon sa feet ko. Kaya napataas ako. <laughs> anyway, do we, I, di ba, I prepared a video. So maybe we can show to them the video. Yes. Now. Thank you so much. How I do homeschooling in my family. So guys, okay. hindi ko sinasabi. Like what Novi said, hindi ko sinasabi na parang ito yung tamang way of homeschooling. Yes. Na. Yes. Let's show you what works for my family. Okay. Thank you, oh Hazel. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on going, keeping on 
Hello. Wow! Ramdam na ramdam ko yung mga learning activities nyo together. Sobrang saya. See, talagang we invest more sa experiences, more than parang reading yung mga books. Siyempre, I, we want our kids to experience life, not to read about life. So, yun talaga yeah. yung... Ganda, ganda. Thank you for sharing that to us. Si Luigi nag-edit na kong galing. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. But I just want you to share lang siguro because of this. Siyempre, ang ganda, ang ganda talaga ng outdoors. But what do you do now? Kasi pandemic, hindi kayo makalabas. Yes. Especially yung start. How do you do it? How do you... So talagang more time talaga together. Talagang I make sure na yung kids ko, hindi sila bombarded by worksheets. Kaya ginaga more on Charlotte Mason way of living kami ngayon. So I read to them, we watch videos with them, talagang puro YouTube kami. We make use of the available materials online. Diba sobrang dami ngayon, pwede kang mag-tour ng mga iba-ibang museums. So we mostly use yung what what's available here. Talagang in the garden, may garden kami. So alam mo sa garden na yun, ang dami-dami naming experiences na sobrang saya. Nakapag-observe na kami ng grubworm, ng caterpillar, kung ano-ano na nang naaral, naaral namin for science just because of our garden. Oo, oh, yun yun, no? Yeah. Oh, diba? so, you, know, you just have to be creative and then I we also spend a lot of time in the kitchen I bake with my kids I do sensory play with them in the kitchen talagang you just really have to be creative and be passionate and be intentional sa mga ginagawa mo totoo kasi mismo ang sariling bahay mo meron ka nang matututunan doon eh with whatever you want ito ba syempre la Two years ka na nag-go homeschool. Do you think it's expensive talaga if you go to the route of purely homeschooling? Because now, you know, lot of choices in homeschooling. And there's too much of it. So what do you advise to them because of this, ano nga, you know, overload of information and materials and resources? You know, it will really be expensive kung pumatol ka ng pumatol sa lahat ng mga available materials, curriculum. There will always be better materials. There will always be a better curriculum. So, kailangan lang talaga alam mo yung goal mo sa homeschooling. And alam mo yun, you make use of everything that you have. Ang daming free na materials. Talagang mag-dedicate ka lang ng time to prepare and to research about this. It may pwedeng maging hindi expensive. Tama, tama. That's good. You have a lot of kids naman. Alam mo, sulit din naman mag, mag, mag-invest, di ba? Kasi ilang bata, like me, ilang bata yung makakagamit nun. Like I was sharing with you nga kanina, di ba, yung life pack, sobrang mahal nun. So ang ginagawa ko is pinapotocopy ko and yun yung pinapa-answer ko sa mga anak ko para lahat sila, all four kids, magamit pa yun. Totoo, totoo. Yun nga kanina, baka nakwento ko rin sa'yo. Kasi nung time namin, hindi pa yung, wala pa yung photocopy, sobrang mahal. So kami, binubura ko isa-isa. Kaya <laughs> lang yung disadvantage yun. Yung pangalawa kong anak, dahil sobrang talino, nadidetect niya tuloy kung ano yung answer <laughs> dahil natitrace. Kasi yung, yung panganay kong anak, ang diin-diin mag-answer. But anyway, that's the funny part. But yeah, it's true. You can recycle your materials. And you, you just recycle. have to be creative. You know, I'll post something for you guys. I'm into yung mga free res- resources talaga. Yeah. On. Like for example, one of my books for um social studies, yung Mystery of History, I just downloaded it sa Kindle. Hindi na ako bumili. Oh, di ba? Later siguro you can put in our uh, comments para makita nila kung saan pwede kailan. That's good. Okay. Can you share us more? tips on how to how do you do it how do you teach uh multi or multiple grade level okay sige my number one tip here is for you guys to look at homeschooling as a blessing parang hindi sana don't look at it as a burden that you have to carry because of this pandemic you know guys god 
as the way I see it, God is giving us this perfect time to spend more time with our family. Imagine yung biglang naging normal na yung homeschooling, biglang naging normal na yung work from home. So look at it as a blessing. Let's celebrate what God has been doing this 2020. Instead, yung mga parang memes and quotes sa Instagram na parang sana over na yung 2020. Let's look at it in a positive way. Yeah, that's, that's my number good. one tip. My num my second tip is to be prepared. You know, make sure na yung um house nyo is conducive for learning. Like pati like ako novi. Honestly, I prepare more for yung time ko with the kids after yung four hours of homeschooling because I believe that that's when they really learn. Yung mga hindi nila tin hindi mo tinuturo and how you are, yun talaga yung naaabsorb nila eh. So talagang yung my house is set up na parang ayan may books na sila anytime that they can read. Na parang even yung food namin, yung mga syempre ngayon kinakarier ko yung mga recess ng mga bata, yung breakfast. <laughs> I make it exciting for them para alam mo yung paggising nila parang Ang saya saya lang, parang excited sila to learn and start homeschooling. And yeah. then also prepare. Since sinabi ko nga kanina, di ba, I wake up at 3 a.m. Maybe you guys, kung late kayo natutulog, just take mga a couple of minutes lang to prepare for homeschooling for your next day, di ba? Kasi pag hindi ka talaga nag-prepare, you're gonna get lost. Iinit talaga yung ulo mo, magiging momster ka talaga. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So number three tip naman is for you guys to raise independent learners. So honestly, my kids are not yet independent learners. Siguro kasi medyo bata pa rin sila. But you know what I noticed? Ang galing nila ko si Adriana. Now that diba I mentioned that that Anya does home um online classes with this school. So si Adriana yung nag she does the videos with Anya. And you know what? Hindi ko Siguro nakikita lang kasi talaga niya sa akin. So talagang nakikita ko yung sarili ko sa kanya na kung ginagawa niya sa akin kung anong ginagawa ko sa kanila. So yun yung effect sa kalila ng homeschooling ko. Yeah. And then, okay, moms. First of all, so multiple ages nga, no? You know what, moms? Um, Having a lot of kids, it only means na you have a lot of extra hands. So when you're able to raise independent kids, alam mo yun, makakatulong talaga sila. So sa chores, alam mo yun, even pag, di ba, bigla ka nalang mawawala ng yaya. So paano ka mag yeah. school, di ba? Sobrang stressful. So they do our chores. They know how to wash the dishes. They make up their bed. So talagang ini-involve namin sila. Talagang team talaga kami dito na may kanya-kanyang responsibilities. That's good. And then number four tip is to combine subjects that can easily be taught to all grade levels. So yun nga, that's why I have a lot of books na multi-level siya. Para alam mo yun, kasi na-try ko na rin yung iba yung book na binabasa ni Adriana for science, iba ni Alejandro. Parang ang hirap. It's so hard to manage it and to, to sustain that kind of teaching. For me ha, so talagang helpful sa akin yung mga multi-level books. And then also yung subjects. Like for example, for history, my kids, when they when I read to them, sometimes they would narrate it to me through their drawings. Kasi they're into drawing eh. So yun ay pinaka-art class ko din, di ba? So parang namamaximize ko talaga yung minutes na sinispend ko sa isang subject. Okay. And then, my tip number five is, yun nga, I already mentioned a while ago, to start your day with the youngest. Yeah. And then my last extra tip is for you to get a good printer and <laughs> photocopy and a laminate. alam mo, and a book binder. Kasi sobrang obsessed nga ako sa free materials, di ba? So right now, I'm learning about Charlotte Mason. Tingnan mo, ang dami kong mga print. Mga free lang to, ha? So there. So talagang mm -hmm. to have a good printer, a binder, para sobrang organ din kayo. Ang ganda. Kasi alam mo, 
Pag nakikita ko yung post mo, parang, may kikain kaya ako kayo na pangin. <laughs> ang, ang dami nyo, ano, ang dami nyo breaks na kumakain kayo. <laughs> yes, oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Exciting. Ako nga na-invite. Sasa ko, ano, you were saying? Yeah, so I involved them, de- them din sa pag-prepare ng food, hindi lang sa pagkain. So parang ano na rin namin yun, home economics na rin namin yun, di ba? Okay. And then, I also love what I learned for all the tips that you have learned is you created that kind of atmosphere. And yeah. that that's the that's the mulak bunch. Alam mo yun? Oh, oh, yes. And, and you wake up in the morning, I know you always read the word of God to prepare you for that battle, for that day. Siguro, that's why you also enjoy that moment with your kids because you also prepared your inner core, which is yourself, no? Yes. To be able to teach what is really, you know, transforming to your life that hopefully your kids will be transformed as well. Mm-hmm. And Luigi as well. Thank you for sharing that. So, mag-answer na tayo ng mga ano, ha? Kasi may mga questions dito. That's 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nasa na yun, Hazel? Hindi ko makita. Ayan, I was brought up by Ren Pelicano. I was brought up and educated in a traditional way. What tips can you give for me to unlearn the things that I am accustomed to? Oh, that's good. That's a good question. Okay, my number one tip is to commit to that first. Talagang no matter kung anong marinig mo from your friends, from your in-laws, commit na, na alam mo yun, you want to unlearn those bad habits. Kasi alam nyo guys, hindi agad-agad makikita yung result niyan ha. It will take time. So you just have to be consistent and to be committed to it. Sabi nga dun sa Charlotte Mason book that I was reading, Charlotte Mason believes that small changes over time can produce big results. Na. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ang galing. Those, those little steps matters. Eh. Yes. Example, parang you're creating a habit that before you don't know, Maybe you don't know and you don't believe it, but because you're discovering homeschooling, uh, you're trying to, it, kumbaga, yun nga, just installing those habits with your kids as well. And that's... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's really good. Santo, by Annie Tranquena Gonzalez, saan po kayo nag-source out ng multi-level grade books? Ayan. So, siguro ito yung, yung ano, yung, yun nga, sana nalagay natin yung how do you rate then yung mga, how do you plan that and put it on those levels? Okay, so kasi sa provider ko, which is Homeschool Global, when I enroll to them, meron silang mga packages. They would give you yung mga choices ng books na pwede mong kunin. And then nakasulat doon kung multi-level. So madali lang for them. Actually, to be honest, with Charlotte Mason, with yung living books, my kids kasi yung ginagamit nilang living books pang year one to year three. And to think grade four na sila ha. Kasi they're not used to reading. Diba kasi sa traditional school, you really don't have time to read, honestly. Diba kasi sobrang busy mo. So, nawala na ako. Ano yung question? <laughs> okay. Ano daw yung... Yun na, na, na ano mo yun, nasagot mo dahil sinasabi mo nga na yung homeschool global, gumagawa sila per level. And then, kumbaga, yung mga bullets na lang yung tinitingnan mo that works for your family. But then, yeah. I guess, syempre, hindi ka naman fully nagde-depend doon, di ba? You research yeah. also on your own. At saka, depende din yun sa level ng anak mo eh. So, talagang, oh. Alam mo, you just spend time with your kids, be intentional, mababasa mo kasi talaga sila, di ba? Oh, kasi, I agree with that. Kasi you need to meet where your kids are. Hindi yung kurikulong mamaadya sa mga anak mo. And it, it takes time. I Actually, it's more of uh, embracing that process. Eh. I know it's not an easy process. Siyempre kasi ang dati ang learning na ginagawa, ang learning for yourself, what you believe in, how you're brought up, and then you're trying to put it in your family. But yun nga, I... I I suggest you have to take it one day at a time. Yes. Okay. Do you, okay, do you, by Ren Pelikan ulit, do you recommend having a homeschool provider for parents who are just starting homeschooling? Kasi, Patty, I'm, maybe she's coming from, ano, meron kasi tayong tinatawag na independent homeschoolers. Mm-hmm. 
and um, that's a choice and that's also a good choice but yun nga yung sinasabi ay nilang may provider but kung starting do you highly recommend that what is your take on that okay um for lalo na yung mga diba ang dami ngayon accidental homeschoolers you know what ako okay ako personally na walang homeschool provider if you had the time to prepare for it Kumbaga, kung baga confident ka na sa sarili mo that you can do. Pero sa ngayon, if you're a first timer, na tas bigla biglang you have to do it right away. I suggest na kung wala talaga kayo ng homeschool provider, I would even suggest kasi like sorry ha, puro homeschool global kasi yung alam ko. So kailangan <laughs> ko may packages sila for accidental homeschoolers. So while you're doing your homeschoolers, nagpo-provide din ata sila ng videos and then weekly meron kang class advisor who you can meet with. So talagang wag niyo if feeling ko talaga kung biglaan, it's going to be so hard for you guys. It's going to be so stressful. So yung maganda yung may assistance kayo. And you know what, pahabol, if you're committed to homeschooling talaga, kung feeling nyo long-term homeschooling to, take your time. You don't have to enroll right away. You can practice yeah. first of September pa kayo mag-enroll, di ba? Kung wala naman kayong hinahapon. Oo, oh, di ba yung sinabi kanina to add to that, no? Para hindi naman po tayo puro homeschool global. Di ba yes, nag no. <laughs> Experience lang talaga ni Patty yun. But I just want to add to that, no? Kasi sinabi nga ni Patty, six months, six months, nagpahinga sila at bumuelo sila. And you know, you don't have to be guilty na feeling mo parang may nami-miss out kung hindi ka, kung hindi mo talaga purely nagawa or naturo, naturuan yung anak mo. Kasi for me, every day is a learning. It's not about teaching the curriculum and academics. It's not that. You have the right, you have the right as a parent. Kung gusto nyo mo nang parang mag-gap year and learn by playing and getting to know your child. Parang ang goal mo is, this is the year I want to get to know my child and my family. So and then it takes time. Kunya rin, pwede naman hindi one year, pwede six months. Do not be moved by because everybody's doing it, but because, yeah, you need to move because God is telling you to do it. You do not be forced or be pressured by anyone. So whether you're independent or you want to be under a provider, and that's the best for you. And then Patty and I will completely agree with you. Whatever works for you is the best. Yes. Okay. Because there's time for praying. So I think the key is you need to be patient with yourself. Yes. Yes. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yun muna siguro ang kailangan nating mabago. Okay. Then last. By Rich Can Last Zamora. Is Charlotte Mes- Mason method effective even if Ah, uh, children have different learning styles. Siguro to yung sinasabi niya na, yun nga. Um, feeling ko, yes. Ka- effective kasi siya sa akin talaga based on my experience. Like yung simple narration lang. Okay, so sa narration na yan, iba-ibang way of retelling ang meron. Like you can use um written narration, oral narration. So I believe sa different learning styles ng kids, na ma- 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 malalaman mo naman as the mom eh, di ba? So ma-adjust mo siya and ma-apply mo yung Charlotte Mason. Tama. Okay. So I hope we were able to answer all your questions because I'm so excited with ano, with Patty's last word. But I just want to say thank you Patty. Grabe ang dami mo. Nakakatuwa ka kasi I'm glad that you went out of your comfort zone. Ang galing. So, this is one of the, yeah, I, am, I really enjoyed talking to you and conversing with you. Thank I you. Thank you so much. Thank God. 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 Yeah, I just want to siguro ano, share to you isang sinabi. Sobrang na-encourage ako enlightened about homeschooling while listening with both of you. My first year of homeschooling and ang sobrang traditional ang ginagawa ko na to the point hindi nag enjoy ang mga anak ko by Alicia Elogsong. So because of what you've shared, you we were able, you know, by God's grace, di ba? We were able to plant yeah. that seed. Yes, that's yeah. what I want. Uh, that's what happened to my kids. It's a traditional, of course, may natututunan naman yung kids ko. Pero napansin ko, my kids, they weren't parang 
they weren't curious, they weren't wondering. Talagang bising busy sila. I want them to give them space to breathe. Yeah. Totoo to yun. To love learn. So, yung, like, di ba, if yung mga, yung mga friends ko lang na nakikita ko na talagang, they're, hindi ko sinasabing hindi maganda yung brick and mortar school, but nakikita ko lang na yung stress nung bata na pag-uwi, tapos babiyahe, tapos yeah. gusto na, pero hindi na, matutulog na lang. Di ba? Hindi lang mina, madali magdi-dinner kayo. Bilisan mo na kasi kailangan mo lang matulog, maaga ka pang igising. Yeah, that's why nga, Patty, I'm praying nga eh, with all of this, no, with online classes and blended learning and even homeschooling, I hope they will, would really know what is really education and how they're gonna spend it at home. Kasi I know it's a different paradigm that everybody uh, have to learn. But that's my prayer, no? Sana ma-enjoy nila muna yung family nila bago yung mga yun. Yes. But, Patty, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I had so much fun. Yes. So what is your last words to us? Okay, my Bye, last word, for my last words, I would like to quote Mother Teresa. She said, parang, if you want to heal the world, start with your family. Diba? Lagi nilang sinasabi, if, one, if we want to be blessed with bigger things by God, paano nila tayo ibe-bless if you can't handle what's already been given to you? Diba? So I just want to encourage everyone to be intentional about spending time with your kids and prioritizing them talaga. At saka guys, you know what? You can delegate a lot of things, but never delegate being a mom and wife. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. That was really a mouthful conversation with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. No. Okay. I will see you later, Patty. Don't leave yet, okay? I'm just gonna... Ah, wait lang muna. Huwag kang umalis. Because it's Independence Day, I Homeschool PH and Patty is gonna give away something for you guys, okay? Hazel, can you show that to us? Because it's Independence Day and it's free, ah, maligayang kalaya, kalayaan po sa lahat po sa inyo. We're gonna... Uh, give away this memory verse flashcard. Okay, pito po ang pipiliin namin, seven giveaways. Okay, seven giveaways. This is memory uh, memory verse flashcard na very, very uh, beneficial po sa inyong bahay. Okay, sa inyong family. Okay. So, actually, ako I believe and Patty also believe that Actually, ang gumawa nito Pilipino po by Axe Ventures. And I homeschool, uh, I homeschool PH believes that we need to support our own. And one day, I'm really praying na madami na tayong resources na tunay na talagang Pilipino resources. Okay, so we're gonna give away. Hazel, can you give us the guidelines on how to do this? First, you need to follow and tag I homeschool PH and Patty Mulak in your post. And then, next... Post a picture of today's session and tell us what you have learned in this description. Alam nyo kami, kahit yung mga guests, we want to learn from you as well. Na-encourage kami pag nagsishare kayo ng mga natutunan nyo sa amin. And next, place the hashtag, hashtag iHomeSchoolPH and hashtag the Mulak Bunch so that we'll see your entry. So make sure po na public po ang inyong entry, hindi po private. Kasi hindi po na yung makikita E eh sana ko pong mananalo po kayo kung kayo po ay private, hindi po nyo makakuha yung prize. So, pito po ang pipiliin namin. This is a very good resource, especially with your character building, with your Bible reading, a memory verse in flashcard, and it's a devotional set din. And it's a very good questionnaire, very interactive uh, questionnaire for your early uh, childhood kids. Okay? Maraming salamat po. Okay, I will see you, Pat. Thank you so much. I will see you there. Don't leave yet. Okay. Hi! Nakakatuwa po ang interview natin kay Patty. Sobra ako natutuwa. Ang dami ko rin natutunan from her. Thank you so much sa lahat-lahat po. Thank you. If I'm gonna encapsulate everything, no, I just want to um, siguro reverberate what she said. no. You know, um, I know it's a it's a Siguro ang makikita mong task kasi nakikita mo ang dami mong anak. 
But at, um, at the end of the day, enjoy lang. Take it one day at a time. Enjoy your kids. Kasi I believe tayong mga magulang ang nag-create ng atmosphere. Eh. Siyempre, pag gising natin sa umaga, pag stress tayo, tapos nakikita yun ng mga anak natin na madami sila, mas stress din sila. So I believe and try to encourage you, moms and dads, create an, an atmosphere of, um, you know, that our kids have the freedom to be able to go to us no matter what circumstances or no matter what season that we have. Ako, that's really my prayer. At the end of the day, gusto ko, pag may issue sila sa buhay, um, kung meron man silang circumstances na hindi maganda, my kids will go to me first rather than, you know, getting it from outside. And that starts pag maliliit pa yung mga bata natin, pag na-plant natin yung seed na yun. So, create that kind of atmosphere. And another encouragement is, be the voice of grace to your kids. I know it's not easy to be able to handle a lot of kids okay, or teach your kids at home, but be the voice of grace so that your kids be able to see that and model that from you na magagaya din nila yan. Okay? Okay, marami pong salamat. So we're, we have some certain amount, um, a lot of announcement here. Hazel, take it away. I'm so excited this coming June 16 because this is Father's Day, June po. So next week, Meron po kaming guest, Philip Pastoral, Dad's Homeschool too. So excited po ako dito. So let's hear for the dads, okay? Akala nyo, ang mga dad hindi nag-homeschool, nag-homeschool din po ang mga dads. So this is June 16, Tuesday, 8 p.m., I Homeschool PH Live, okay? What else, my dear? Okay, and I'm so excited with this talk. Uh, raising future leaders, values, and virtues in the world of viruses and vices. Okay, with my husband, Chinkitan, and our Ninong Francis Kong. Magaganda pong topic ang aming uh, tuturo sa inyo. And me, I'm gonna talk about effective online homeschooling education. So please join us. That would be July 8 and 9, 7 p.m. po. Raising future leaders, okay, values and virtues in a world of virus and vices. So please join us on that end. So may lalagay po kaming link dyan to register po. Okay, what else? Hazel. Okay. Kung naniniwala po kayo sa aming ginagawa, please keep on following us in our Facebook, Instagram, and our YouTube account and share it to others. And please, join us in our Viber page. Ito po yung pag meron ako naaalala, dito ko easily na siya share yung mga free resources and all the depth and legalities updated um, uh, mga guidelines, I put it also. And I make sure that the other families or other parents would be able to share in this page as well. So it's a community. Please join us also. And then if you want to know more about homeschooling, you can get my physical book at 750 and also my digital book. Meron po akong digital, which is 500. So whether your digital or physical book ang pinili nyo, meron po tayong free organizers na kasama, which is a student organizer and a teacher organizer na tamang-tama po sa mga starting parents. Marami pong salamat. Okay, grabe. Okay. Hi. Marami pong salamat sa lahat ng inyong isuporta. Marami pong salamat. Pero I want you to be reminded lang po, no? In homeschooling po. Relationship is more important than academics. Ako po si Novi Antan, ang inyong homeschool coach. And I homeschool. Bye! Bye!